Hello everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Well, sort of. In this case, what happens when you need to capture a screen for a simulation and you don't have access to the remote computer? This happens pretty often, and what we need to do then is we'll use a tool like Snagit to capture those screens and then import those files into Captivate, and now we have screens that aren't shifting or aren't doing anything else. But you have to be careful if you're in WebEx or GoToMeeting and you're doing everything by hand, you will have screen shift. So one way to do that is you go into your Captive, into your Snagit settings, go into what you want to capture. In this case, we're going to go into Advanced Settings and we want to capture a fixed region. So we capture that, then we'll go back into Properties and in the properties, you see the region that we want to capture. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller just for the sake of the experiment. I'm going to say 800 by 600. That's going to be our region. Click OK. And, and by the way, if you notice, let me go back in there real quick. Um, you can select whatever region you want. So for example, I can go into properties again. If I click on select region, then I can actually select the area I want and it'll put those numbers in here. So if you're not sure what size you want, do it here. But remember, plan your Captivate project first so that you know what your, re your size is. So in this case, we have an 800 by 600 Captivate. That's the size we want our screens to be. If I click the, or I hit the print screen key right now, notice that we have a region that is moving with us and that is our region of 800 by 600. Let's say I want to capture this area right here. I click the left mouse button and it brings it into my Snagit editor and you can see that I have one region. If I click print screen again, it keeps the same exact location of my capture. So therefore, once you set up your GoToMeeting or WebExes, you don't have to constantly change your location. It will always be in the same place. I hit enter again, I have my second screen capture. Now let's say we go to a different screen and all of a sudden the location changes. I can move it up, I can do a capture, and now I have a slightly different location. If I hit print screen again, I have a new location. Why would you do that? Well, let's say you're capturing an application that has windows that change size or that has windows that change position. So that may be a reason why you want to move that region around. However, I advise not to move it around at all if you can to avoid later on backend processing to fix the movement issues. You want to keep it as consistent and steady as possible. Well, that's a quick tip from Relate. If you have any questions, please email me or just send in your comments to the Adobe Captivate, youtube.com slash Adobe Captivate. We'll be glad to answer them. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for watching.